Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we'll be discussing about one of the most important questions asked by aspirants throughout. That is, how do we stay motivated during the preparation for the UPSC Civil Services Examinations? Now, to begin with, when you're giving any competitive exam like this, where the selection ratio is so low and there are so many candidates applying for the same, I think one crucial element that has to be there throughout your process of preparation is motivation. You also all, you know, you have to have a very, very positive mindset in order to crack the exam. So motivation thus becomes extremely significant in this process. So now we understand that it's very important. But now, by the end of the video, I'll be giving you tips and tricks as to how can you stay motivated throughout the exam. So I think the first and the first uh, foremost thing that a lot of people do not understand and we need to change that is convert this word motivation to inspiration. Because the word motivation stands for some external force, some external pressure that is on you, maybe from your parents, maybe from your peers or some other external source. And that is very, very temporary because when you see a motivational video, I think you, people must have observed that you, you know, you instantly feel motivated and start doing the designated work. But then after two, three days or even after, you know, five, six hours, you feel that you, ha you know, are losing that kind of drive that you just had maybe before a couple of hours before. Why is it so? Because it's from an external force. It is because a different person altogether is telling you to do something, right? The person might be an expert in his or her respective field, but at the end of the day, it's an external force. Someone else is telling you to do something and, you know, it also guiding you that you have to do it this way, right? So that's why it's temporary. But if I talk about inspiration, then it is something that comes from within right so when we talk about inspiration it's it's that driving force that is there within you that is basically juxtaposed with your beliefs with all your uh, you know with the kind of mentality that you live with and that you have lived with throughout the years right so I think we need to convert this and people need to be inspired rather than be motivated because motivation is temporary and inspiration is permanent because once you are inspired to do something once you are inspired to crack the the civil services examination, then I don't think there is there will be any other force on this planet Earth that could stop you from achieving your dreams and goals. So this was one aspect of it. Other than that, you can talk to your family, you can talk to your peers who will motivate you uh, towards you know, the end goal, because a lot of times what happens is as aspirants, we have a lot of, you know, things going on in our head. Like, you know, we, we think that we have to complete our timetable and at the same time, we have to reschedule a lot of things. We have a lot of commitments other than studying for the exam as well. So a lot of times we're not able to express them clearly, right? So it's very important to have someone to talk to uh, who can guide you in the right way, right? Because you're already inspired from within, but still you need need that kind of validation, you need that kind of support uh, that is very much needed, right? So you can do that and uh, and also just keep those people in a very selective way. You don't need to talk to everyone because that's just going to be a waste of your time. You can maybe have a very healthy discussion on some certain topics from your syllabus only with a person who uh, has adequate knowledge in that particular field. So I think these are some, some things that you can do. Other than that, I think you yourself will have to build this kind of mentality, right? A positive mindset, a positive mentality is not something that people are born with, right? But this is a perspective that people evolve with, right? So throughout the preparation and during the process of it, they evolve this. Every single time you yourself have to tell yourself that yes, you can do it. Yes, you can crack it because I think 50% of the exam is in your head, right? It's just basically your mentality, your perspective towards it. So if you are able to 
you know if you're able to win over it then you know 50% of your work is already done the other 50% would be to work hard for the exam to make notes and to do the needful right so i think these were some tips uh, for you all in order to stay motivated during the ias exam because it is very very important and crucial throughout um i would like to wish all the aspirants a very very all the best and uh, stay tuned for more such uh, educational channel that we upload almost every day and share um, share it with your friends like and also subscribe stay tuned